Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. In today's video, we are going to talk about what causes a hormonal belly and practical tips of how to address it. So let's get started. So there are many reasons why a person would gain belly fat. It typically tends to orient around poor diet, lack of activity, and stress. The three of those things together is a recipe for fat gain, specifically belly fat gain. And when it comes to belly fat, there are two main types of belly fat. There is subcutaneous fat, which is the type of fat that lays beneath the surface of the skin. And there is visceral fat, which is the fat that accumulates around the organs. So if you are dealing with visceral fat, you most likely have more of your fat concentrated in the belly, in the torso, in and around the abdomen region where the organs are concentrated. So not only does belly fat make it harder to be more agile and mobile, it also puts the body at risk for a lot of diseases ranging from heart disease, type two diabetes, high blood pressure, breast cancer, colon cancer, dementia, heart disease, stroke, and asthma. So getting rid of belly fat is very important. And if you are struggling with this, the number one reason is probably related to a poor diet. If you are on a low protein, high carb, high sugar diet that is loaded with processed foods, as well as inflammatory foods, it is going to be very challenging to hormonally set up a situation for your body to allow the fat that is stored in the torso that as visceral fat to be oxidized and released from the body because you are setting up a really bad situation for the body that makes it very, very challenging for you to lose that body fat when you are not getting enough protein, when you are excessively high in carbohydrates, when you are excessively high in inflammatory foods, as well as not getting the correct type of dietary fats. So the nutrition strategy that I advise to address this is to have you eating in a way that is going to drastically shift the portions and types of foods that you eat. I recommend going higher in protein, higher in dietary fats, but not quite keto, higher in fiber, as well as lower in starches, lower in inflammatory foods, lower in the FODMAP foods. And FODMAPs are fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. And I have created a hormone reset protocol that does just that, that takes out the inflammatory foods, that puts in the appropriate balance of proteins to fats, getting you a, a nice amount of fiber that's going to bind excess estrogens, it's going to bind excess cholesterol, it's going to make it easier for your body to raise the metabolic rate to a level that's going to set it on fire to support fat oxidation. So the next thing you wanna look out for, number two, is consuming too much alcohol. When you consume excess alcohol, it causes damage to the liver and it compromises liver function. The liver is the place in the body where detoxification occurs. That is where the body is able to detox excess estrogens, detox out inflammatory toxins in the body. And if your liver functioning is constantly compromised because you're always trying to process out excess alcohol, you're going to find that it's going to be exceedingly challenging to lose belly fat. And there are so many studies and so many examples of people who may not even eat a whole lot or even like a large quantity of food, but have like that beer belly or have that alcohol gut. And the second they give up alcohol, they're able to see substantial changes in that by making alcohol less of a daily regular habit and more of an occasional occurrence. Now, we all know that lack of exercise is going to be very crucial for helping the body be at a healthy body fat percentage. But what I mean by this, you guys, there's also folks who are active and do get proper exercise and still can't lose belly fat. And if you fall under those circumstances, it is most likely a hormone imbalance. You are most likely, especially as a female, dealing with high estrogen relative to your progesterone levels because you have to understand that high estrogen relative to progesterone is a recipe for fat gain. 
Estrogen is the hormone that tells your body to gain fat. So when those levels are high relative to progesterone, it puts your body in a state of estrogen dominance. So one way to doing that is yes, you need to get exercise. Yes, you need to exercise regularly, but you need to make sure that you are eating in a way that supports balanced hormones. And there are supplements that can help support this. I have a new supplement called IC3, which is short for indole 3 carbonyl There are sulfur-based compounds in this ingredient that naturally help to detox the body of these excess estrogens, which makes it easier for the body to not be generating those hormonal compounds that support fat gain. So the next thing is stress and stress management is oh so crucial. This is something I personally struggle with. When your body is in a state of elevated stress, it releases the cortisol hormone. As a result of that, you guys, stress can slow your metabolism down. I repeat, stress can slow your metabolism. So one thing that's really important, especially that I'm gonna require for people who do my hormone reset plan is to minimize stress. So aside from improving your overall level of organization in life, the second thing I recommend to minimize stress is to get more sleep. And it's going to be a requirement actually on this hormone reset plan that I need my clients to be getting at least eight hours of sleep per day to help your body naturally reset your hormones and lower that stress levels. You would be shocked at what quality sleep does to resetting the hormones and in turn supporting the reduction of a hormonal belly. So unfortunately, the next one is genetics and genetics does play a role in your body's natural tendency to have a hormonal belly. However, that does not mean it's the end all be all. It just means that some people have a natural body type and natural inclination that is going to promote more storage of body fat in the lower abdomen if you don't get on top of it. So while this may make it more challenging for some, and I know who you guys are because I work with a lot of you guys through my one-on-one -on -one online coaching, I want you to know that this is not the end all be all. I want you to know that there are things that you can do about it and that resetting and rebalancing those hormones and lowering that stress is also going to be essential. So if this is a genetic predisposition for you, please do not give up, do not throw in the towel because there is a lot that you can impact. So it is my honor and privilege to have created the 21 day hormone reset program. And you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised at how fun this program is, at how nourishing it is, at how good you feel from the inside out as a result of eating in this way. I've been working on this program for a very long time, have worked with lots of people directly one-on-one -on -one who have helped me create this program as a result of identifying nutritional protocols and pathways that support the most common hormone imbalances that cause the storage of excess body fat in the lower belly. And I have to tell you guys that what I have come up with is absolutely phenomenal. You guys will love it. And it not only comes with a nutrition plan, it comes with supporting supplements to help facilitate the reduction of the hormonal belly. So that is coming, you guys. You can see the link below for where you can get in on that. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching. If you have questions, please let me know. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.